Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen a few examples of the expression transformation functions that we can use. This lecture is in continuation to that and today we'll be looking at uh, the error function which is used in the expression transformation. The error function causes the power center integration service to skip a row and issue an error message which you define. The error message displays in the session log the power center integration service does not write the skip rows to the session reject file. You use the error in expression transformations to validate data. Generally, you use error within an IIF or decode function to set rules for skipping rows. Use the error function for both input and output port default values. You might use error for input ports to keep null values from passing into the expression transformation. Use error for output ports to handle any kind of transformation error, including error function calls within an expression. When you use the error function in an expression and in the output port default value, the power center integration service skips the row and logs both the error message from the expression and the error message from the default value. If you want to ensure the power center integration service skips rows that produce an error, assign error as the default value. If you use an output default value other than error, the default value overrides the error function in an expression. For example, you use the error function in an expression and you assign the default value 1, 2, 3, 4 to the output port. Each time the power center integration service encounters the error function the, in the expression, it overrides the error with the value 1, 2, 3, 4 and passes 1, 2, 3, 4 to the next transformation. It does not skip the row and it does not log an error in the session log. Its syntax is error and in the brackets there is an argument called string. The string argument is the required argument and it is, it is the message that you want to display when the integration service skips a row based on the expression containing the error function. The string can be of any length. The return value is of string type. So let's take a look at an example of the error function. And the problem that we'll be solving is that we need to send the incoming negative, uh, negative salaries to the .bat file and load the rest to the target table. So let's move on to the power center designer. Connect to the repository using the username administrator and the password oracle. Open the trainings folder. Yeah, open the trainings folder now. And create a new mapping. Let's name the mapping as m underscore employees. underscore employees underscore negative yeah we'll be using the sources and targets that we've already created the source will be the employees table from the HR database and the target will be the employees salary status that we created in our last video so we won't be needing the salary status column in this but yeah, so let's bring in a expression transformation in between. Let's arrange this a little. Bring forward a few of the columns that we'll be needing, which are employee ID, first and the last name, the salary, and yeah, that would be it. Let's bring this forward to the expression transformation. Double click on the transformation to open its properties. Let's rename it to <clears throat> expr underscore salary the ports. Let's add a new port named O. Yeah, an output port named as O underscore um, salary because this will be the salary that we'll be sending ahead. The data type should be decimal. 
with precision 8 and scale 2. Let's enter the expression for it. So let's start with the if expression, <coughs> if function, iif. In the brackets, we'll write the first column, which is salary. If the salary is less than 0, this is our condition, then send an error using the error mess our error function with the message as negative salary. Then after the comma, we'll send otherwise the salary as it is. If the salary is less than zero, then send an error. Otherwise, send the salary as it is. Validate the expression, click OK. Yeah, OK. <coughs> click OK now. And let's apply this and click OK. <coughs> now send these three as it is to the target and populate the salary column with the O underscore salary. And we can leave the salary status as it is. That doesn't really matter. Let's arrange all of this. <coughs> and now save your work. It's valid. Let's create a session and workflow for it now. And go to the workflow manager. Let's create a new workflow named as WF underscore employees underscore uh, employees underscore negative. Okay, yeah. We need to create a session for the mapping that we created. So let's select this mapping, click OK, and then link them both together, double click on the session to enter the properties, rename it and remove the M underscore for naming convention purposes. Select the fail parent if task fails option, go to the properties tab. Here we set the right backward compatibility session log files and for the source connection value we'll give in the HR object and for the target we'll give in the target database click OK let's move over to the config objects as we have nothing else to set over here yeah config objects <clears throat> here scroll down and set the save session log for these runs as 5 and set the mapping in the mapping section go to the connections and given the connection variable as dollar source <coughs> nothing else to be set over here given the salary status as connection as the target dollar target connection variable select as normal and truncate table before loading click apply okay now save your work and now as we know that we do not we need to run this session first so now as we know that the employees table the source employee table has no negative values in it for the salary so this session should should execute perfectly and without any errors and should load 107 rows to the employees target table so let's see if that happens. <coughs> yes, it has. Now, what we need to do is we need to bring in some negative values into our source. So let's go to the source database. <coughs> Connect to the test one repository. using the HR username and password. Okay, we've already created a table named the employees test table. So we'll be using that as I don't want to mess up the data in the employees table. So let's empty the employees test table first. Delete from employees underscore test. Execute this. Yeah. Now let's insert all the data from the employees table to the employees test table. Insert into employees underscore test. 
select static from employees execute this okay 107 rows were inserted now let's see what the data is in the employees test table execute this and yeah so let's given the salary for the employee id 100 as negative so update sorry update employees underscore test set set salary equal to minus one steric salary where the employee ID is equal to 100 execute this and let's see if the data has been altered or not select steric from where where employee ID is equal to 100 execute this sorry employee ID my bad okay execute this and there you can see that the salary has been converted to negative 24,000 so let's go back to the workflow manager now and edit this session go to the mappings tab Go to the mappings tab to the source qualifier scroll down in the properties and over here in the owner name let's give in it as hr and the source table name as employees underscore test we're doing this instead of making a new mapping as the employees test and the employees table have the same schema and the same definition so it doesn't really matter uh, if we change it over here click apply click ok save your work and let's restart the workflow now and see what happens it's running okay and it has succeeded why has it succeeded because it put in only 106 rows in the target table instead of 107 now let's go to the session log and see where the error occurred and why one of the rows wasn't it okay here you can see that the error negative salary has been displayed in session log and one of the rows which had the salary as negative 24,000 was rejected and not loaded into the target table okay yeah so you can see all this is the row that wasn't inserted in the target table so yeah now that we've seen how the error function works we can use this to manipulate the data and avoid any inconsistencies or errors in the final data table so uh, let's see the target table and look at the data that it has in it connect to the connection using test one odbc connection connect using the username target password target as well select steric from the employee status so yeah there you can see that we have 106 rows and there's none as 100 So this is it for our site today. We'll be looking at another function which is almost as the error function called the abort function in the next video. So stay tuned and thank you for staying with us. Take care and bye bye.